Welcome to another episode of Out of Spec Dave, where I'm on my way out to see my father-in-law on Long Island. I'm in the Model S, and I just got to thinking about my yoke versus what I heard is that you're soon going to be able to buy the round steering wheel for $700. And I've been thinking about it, and I decided to share my thoughts with you here. So let's get into this and talk about yoke versus round steering wheel on the Model S. A couple of weeks ago, when I was in Mount Kisco, having my door handle fixed, the third one, I, I was uh, talking to the sales manager or the manager up there, uh, who I've known for years, and he said, hey Dave, are you going to get the round steering wheel when that comes out in March? And I said, no, I definitely like the yoke. I didn't think anything more of that. And uh, oh, by the way, I'm going in there again tomorrow because of my seat now. It doesn't go forward or back. But uh, even though these little, well, maybe not so little issues that I've been having with my Model S, look, it's under warranty. I love the car. They're fixing it. Actually, the Tesla service experience has been phenomenal. I, I, it's amazing. You, you go on the app, you make the appointment, they come to your office or your house. If they can fix it remotely, they do. If they can't, they make an appointment. I mean, it's really good. I just wish I didn't have to use it as often as I do. But, you know, I just got back from Colorado and we were whipping around these cars at this Nokian tire event at Copper Mountain. And I, I was really understanding what it's like to drive and drift a car or be in a situation when you're in a panic situation and you need to be able to really have control over the car. And I, and I, I, I started to think about what would that experience have been like if I had the Model S out there with the yoke, every car that we had were, uh, they all had round steering wheels. And what you're able to do is when you're drifting, you're able to let the steering wheel kind of slip through your hands and you can grab it whenever you need to and then whip it back the other way. Whereas with the yoke, you know, you get into a situation where you're, you're having to slide the car around deliberately. I can only imagine it would be difficult, but I got to thinking, just on this trip, what would happen in a real panic situation? Would I grab air, meaning I, 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 I'm reacting to some guy cutting in front of me here on the LIE and out of instinct, right? Not out of planning, I may grab for a portion of the steering wheel that my muscle memory from all my years on planet earth have uh, gotten me accustomed to. I may grab for the steering wheel and it may not be there and the question is how dangerous is that 99 percent of the time i like the yoke i think it's great i like the visibility i think it's cool looking everybody looks at it and says wow what is that thing um not that i care about that so much but it is kind of unique and it's a conversation piece it's 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 interesting but the first reason why i'm actually considering getting the round steering wheel is for the reason of safety. And it, it really is at the forefront of my mind after ripping these cars around uh, the Far East parking lot at Copper Mountain uh, last weekend. The second reason, I was just asking Kathy, how much more comfortable would you be if, you, if, I, if I swapped out this yoke for, for the round steering wheel? And her answer was immediately, yes, I would feel a lot more comfortable. Even though she's gotten used to it and will drive the car, she would be much more inclined to take this car um, by herself if she needed to or wanted to, rather than the yoke. Um, so, so here's the situation. My understanding is the yokes are, or the, the round steering wheels are gonna be available in, I think, March. And I did get myself on a waiting list so that they will let me know when my round steering wheel is, is in. And, and the economics are that it's $700 to actually get the round steering wheel. Now, I remember years ago, we bought a used S-Class Mercedes. It was like one or two years old and the car was perfect. It had every feature that we wanted, except it didn't have a wooden steering wheel. And, and I remember Kathy saying, I got to have a wooden steering wheel. So 
we decided to buy the car thinking, all right, we'll just buy a wooden steering wheel. And that steering wheel was so ridiculously expensive. And I had given her my word that I will get her that wood steering wheel. I think it was like two grand or something like that. So when I heard $700, I really didn't think that that was too much money. And one of the other things I want to find out about, if any of you know, please comment below. But I'm wondering if for the $700, does Tesla keep the yoke or do I get to keep the yoke? Because obviously a lot of you know that I flip cars quite a bit. And so when I go to drive or go to sell this car, I would like to have both steering wheels so that whoever is potentially going to buy my car, if they want the yoke, I don't want to be at a disadvantage when I go to sell it. And I'd like to have both the yoke and the round steering wheel. So I think I may pull the trigger on this um, upgrade to the, to the round steering wheel if in fact Tesla um, does let me keep the yoke. So I, we're going to have to see. I, I don't know what's going to happen. But look, I, I, you know, I thought when I first got the car, actually, I remember the first time I drove a, uh, a Tesla with a yoke. It was Kyle's Model S Plaid. And I thought I was, I really didn't think I was going to like it. It took me about 30 seconds to figure out how to put that car into gear because I was like looking for the stocks. It's a little weird when you're going for the uh, turn signals, also the windshield wiper. And without a doubt, in a panic situation, I still go for the center on the horn. And the horn is this tiny little button off to the right which um, I think is just bad. I don't like that design. There's no stocks for windshield wiper or for, you know, when you put on autopilot on a Model 3 or a Model Y, you down click twice. Here, you just have to push the button twice. Um, and, and for turn signals, there's no stock for um, putting on, um, you know, putting on your turn signal, putting on your high beams. Normally, you just push the stock away or you, you want to flash some. All of that stuff is on the, on the yoke. And that took me a little while to get used to. But I was very surprised how much I really have become very accustomed to the yoke. So if you're just driving straight line, you're not doing any kind of high performance driving, you're not on the racetrack, or if you're not driving drifting cars or something like that, I, I think the yoke is great. I really like it a lot. So, but after last weekend in Colorado, the panic situation combined with Kathy's thought about she would much rather have the round wheel. I think I'm going to pull the trigger on this uh, on this on this round steering wheel. So we'll have to see. Um, but my thought is, I'm, I think I'm going to go for the round steering wheel. So with that, this is a quick one today. I appreciate everyone listening to me, and uh, catch you on the next one. Take care now. Bye bye.